I got an amazing question come in on YouTube and I thought I would make a video right now showing exactly how to solve it. Hey, this is Scott Wankiff with a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to have two cameras going like of your face and of a maybe a document camera at the same time into Google Meet or Zoom. So I got this great question on YouTube. What if I need to use both the built-in camera of the laptop and an external webcam at the same time? I need to have a setup where they can see my face and a view of my back facing the laptop both at the same time for exams. I can't use my phone as a second camera because I need to use it for something else. I can only use the laptop's webcam and an external camera. You are in luck because if you are on a Mac, then Ecamm Live can actually do this for you. If you're on a PC, you might wanna look into something like vMix, which I believe can also do this. Or there's other software out there like OBS that can also do this and it's free. So right now I am inside of Ecamm Live. You can see right now I am inside of Ecamm Live. I'm recording my screen, but you also see Ecamm Live, which means you also see me. And on the right side, I have a bunch of scenes and I'm starting a new scene called Tutorials. This is a tutorial. So I'm gonna create a new scene and I'm gonna call this two cameras, okay? Now, connected to my computer right now, I have three cameras connected right now. I have the built-in webcam that's in the iMac, I have a Logitech Brio, and I have my Nikon Z6. The question specifically asked about the built-in webcam and an external webcam. So right now in this scene, you see that it's showing the Camlink 4K. That is actually my Nikon Z6 coming through a Camlink 4K. But if I want to add in the Logitech Brio, all I have to do is hit Logitech Brio. And now you can see that I have two cameras recording at the same time. I can remove the cam link. You can see that I can hover over and say FaceTime camera. That's the built-in camera. You can see the camera that's built in is way less quality than the Logitech Brio. And then if I was to even bring in the cam link, you'll see I now have three cameras showing up and each one has a different level of quality difference. First and foremost, you'll see that if I click on this gear icon, there is the crop split screen. When I had it checked and I click on another camera, you can see it crops in, makes that sort of full screen, but there's two different cameras showing. If I am to uncheck that and not have it crop full screen and I was to check this again, you'll see that now you're seeing both cameras in the full wide view uncropped. So now let's say that you want to have more control over how it looks and not just a side by side. You want to have, be able to make them square and, and, and have let's say three or four, whatever it is. You can actually use this overlays panel inside of Ecamm Live and you can hit the plus camera for the overlay. And in here, you can now move it around. You can see I have multiple in here. You can edit this, choose which camera you want it to be. So I want this to be the Logitech Brio. And then I can actually say I want it to be a custom size. And then I can go ahead and drag it to be a custom size. And then I can hit another camera overlay. And let's say I want it to be my Nikon Z6. That's what it's on right now. And again, I want it to be uh, a custom overlay. So I'm going to choose that and go something like this. But now, of course, you can see that I'm actually behind here as well. So this is where you can get creative. You can use um, things like frames. You can actually use an overlay. So I'm going to do an overlay and I'm going to add this. And I'm going to make sure these match as well. And then you can go ahead and you can drop in an image that also goes along with whatever you are creating. So I'm going to choose an image and I think I'm going to choose a funny zoom background. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. And I'm going to just drag that in there. And of course, uh, these are like layers. So I'm going to drop that in where I want it to be. Now, uh, you can see that I have right here. <laughs> I have two cameras, one camera, two camera showing up. Now here is how you get it into Google Meet or Zoom. You go up to output in the menu and you go to virtual camera and then you turn it on. And there's gonna be software to install if you didn't already so install that. Once virtual camera is turned on, you can open up Zoom and then go to the Zoom preferences, go to your video settings and switch it from whatever camera you have set to as your Ecamm Live virtual camera. And now you can see that inside of Zoom, it is actually using my Ecamm Live video stream, which means I'm showing two different cameras. And again, on the fly, 
I could actually go in and if I want to, I could add another camera. So from here, I'm going to add one more camera and this is my built-in webcam. And again, I'm gonna switch this to a different, uh, I'll, I'll make this round. <laughs> And I'll put it all over here. So now you can see on the zoom side, I have three cameras going on. And the one that is a webcam, I can literally move around and do whatever I want with. So you can put it behind you, you can put it in front of you, whatever you need. Thank you for asking that question. I hope that this was very helpful. And good luck with your streaming and whatever you need with two cameras. And if you like this video, click that subscribe button below right now. I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday, whenever possible. You don't want to miss it.